Hello. Let's take a look at the pyramids. Not this one, not the one with the cap on it, not Khafran, but rather the one to the east called Khufu. It's the largest pyramid, comprising 2.5 million two-ton stones. Khufu is the largest of the pyramids and resides closest to Cairo, immediately to the west of the city. Khufu is a dramatic tourist attraction, bringing in millions of visitors each year and several camels. Justifiably so, it is the largest structure and the most fascinating structure in the world. But let's take a closer look. Let's forget for a moment that the two pyramids, Khufu and Khafre, are misaligned by 1.5 degrees, and let's disregard the remaining Tura limestone cap on top of Khafre. Let's forget for a moment that maybe Khufu built the pyramid in 2540 BCE and look at the broader set of mysteries which surround the Great Pyramid. Now let's pay the guards $100 and head down to the Queen's Chamber, which is below the King's Chamber and beneath and inside the Khufu Pyramid. And let's look at one artifact that resides there. Now running north out of the Queen's Chamber is an 8-inch air shaft, which rises up at about a 39-degree angle and points directly at True North. This shaft was investigated by National Geographic in September 2002. The shaft ended at a, at a point called Ganton Brink's Door, a block which prohibited any further movement up the shaft. The door was outfitted with two copper fittings, although that's highly in question given the deterioration of the structure that formerly existed there and the fact that the copper fittings would have blocked their ability to put the stone in place in the first place. And notice something odd about Ganton Brink's door. If you look above Ganton Brink's door, there are etchings. There are scratchings in the stone that were done by the people who laid those stones. Those etchings, those scratchings are a sky map, a star map, a map of what the builders saw when they built the pyramid, what existed in the northern sky when the Khufu Pyramid was built or the Great Pyramid was built. Now, Let's take that etching and bring it out flat and in square perspective. And this is what you see. Etched into the stone are familiar constellation features, including Draco's head featuring Grumium, Draco's tail, and a little further to the north, the familiar constellation of Ursa Minor or the Little Dipper. Now, the Little Dipper, the tail, is where our North Pole points currently, the star Polaris in the upper left-hand shot shown here. This is Ursa Minor. Now let's back up and look at the stone in perspective and look at the entire star field and place a star on each of the etching marks that were laid in place by the original builder of the pyramid. This is a piece of information which is handed us by the builder of the pyramid and it says, hey look, here was the northern sky that I saw when I was building this structure. So as we step back, we can see that the entire field of northern stars are depicted on this stone and were meticulously laid out by an individual who had to have been a participant in the building of this shaft and the laying in place of this pyramid. And you can see that this green line evenly bisects the stone. If we lay it in place, run it parallel to the edges of the stone, that constitutes our north axis or the north alignment line for the air shaft. Now, what does this mean? This means that we can use the configuration of the stars in the north sky and the precession of the North Pole or where the North Pole points in the sky to determine an approximate age of the timing in which this shaft was laid into place. This is an amazing piece of information which we have not had to date concerning the Great Pyramid. Now let's use this star information to see if we can come up with a date that estimates the time of the building of the pyramid. This yellow circle depicts the precession of the North Pole. It's a counterclockwise circle. Currently, the North Pole points conveniently for navigators at Polaris. In the time of Khufu, 2540 BC, the North Pole pointed east of Draco's tail. And in 10,000 BCE, the North Pole was south of Draco's head and Grumium and east of a very important mark called Theta Draconis. Now let's compare two different candidate times at which we're considering the pyramid to have been built. The candidate time on the top right hand side is historians certified 2540 BCE or the time of Khufu. The red mark on the other hand, 
demarks the time and the configuration of the stars for 10,500 BCE. Now let's take our procession of the North Pole and go back in time and look at the period of time in which historians say the pyramid was built by King Khufu. 2540 BCE, both the North Mark and the point at which the North Pole pointed in the sky was east of Ursa Major, as shown in gold here. In 10,500 BCE, the North Pole pointed south of the head of Draco and west of Theta Draconis, our key point of demarcation in the sky. Now let's go back to our original stone which was laid in place by and inscribed by the builders of the pyramid and take a look at what they saw in the northern sky. As you can see the north mark is clearly not in the tail of Draco, not east of the tail of Draco as shown in the gold mark on our former graphic. Rather the north mark is south of Draco's head and west of Theta Draconis. In other words, the 10,500 BCE North Mark matches what is inscribed on the stone by the builders of the pyramid themselves. Now let's go back in time and look at how the sky appeared to those people in the time of Khufu in 2540 BC. As you can see, the head of Draco is not even above the horizon, nor is the North Mark west of Theta Draconis. The North Mark is east of Draco's tail or Alpha Ursa Major. This in no way matches what was inscribed on the stone by the builders of the pyramid themselves. Now let's open up our celestial software and examine the sky, the sky that would have been seen by the builders of the pyramid. As we bring north backwards in time to where it pointed south of Draco's head and west of Theta Draconis, we clearly see that the stone depicts 9200 BCE. This is the time that is documented by the builders of the pyramid in this inaccessible 8-inch shaft. In other words, no one could get there since that time. There's not one person in history who could have come in after the fact and scratched these stars into place. They are original. So ladies and gentlemen, I like to go off evidence and not legend. And the only evidence we have is that information which was handed us by the builders of the pyramid. And they tell us the pyramid was not built in 2540 by King Khufu. The pyramid was built at the time of this sky map, this star map. And that time coincides with a depiction of the sky which existed in 9200 BCE. I'm willing to go either way. I can go with legend or I can go with science. But in this case, the sky map speaks clearly as to what the builders of the pyramid wanted us to know.